Hello and welcome to this quick tips video, which is a quick tip about latency. So this is something which came up in a session that I was doing with a client this week. And it struck me that maybe not everybody knows this because my client didn't and it solved his problems pretty quickly. So without going into the full details of latency and why we need it, etc. and buffer size and so on, something that I will be covering in a future video. What often happens is you just run up against what you feel is the performance ability of your computer. So I've just set up a project here where I've I've just duplicated the same track. It's got a revelation and a reverence on each one. I'm on my ailing MacBook Pro, which I'm hoping to replace fairly soon. And when I play this back, you won't have to suffer the music because it's just a noise. But you can see the audio performance, which is available with F12, if you don't know how to get that up. You can see that it's busy doing stuff all the time. And if I play this back, it would glitch. You won't have to hear this. But trust me, every time we reach this peak here, the audio is dropping out. And it's terrible. And you think, right, I've reached the limit. I need to start freezing tracks, etc. But one way around this is to increase the latency of your sound card. Now, how you do this in detail will depend on the individual sound card. But the idea is you go to Studio, Studio Setup. And then in this top section here on Audio System, you've got your driver and it tells you what the input and output latency are click on the audio driver that you're using here and then click control panel and that should open up a control panel sometimes you need to go down to your sort of taskbar area and windows sometimes you need to open it separately but on this particular one it opens it up here and then i can just increase the buffer size so if i increase it to 128 and we go back we look at exactly the same project playing once it's sorted itself out you can see it's a little bit happier. It will still glitch occasionally, but that is now working a bit better. And if we go further with this, say back to studio setup, open up the control panel, and this time I'm just going to put it at 512. So I'm going to make it much bigger. Now, this does mean increased latency. So if you're monitoring through the computer, then this will be a problem. But if you're just playing stuff back, it just means it's slightly less responsive. And to be honest, it doesn't make that much of a difference. And you can see now my ailing MacBook is happy with the monstrosity that I've created. So if you find your session is glitching and you just want to get on with it, etc., providing you're not at the tracking stage, providing you're just playing things back and you're not playing things and listening to them via a virtual instrument, then you can just increase the latency and get on with what you want to do. It's not without compromises. I understand that. But there might be a quick fix that will allow you to carry on uh, with your session and get it finished. As ever, hope you found that useful and we'll see you again soon for more music tech tuition.